What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Bad Wolf. Whoop, whoop. What do we have today? Well, people keep emailing me on the UCC, but not just how to do the UCC. I've already made like two videos on how to do that. And we've got the free files now on blacksite32.com. Telling you how to do it, a couple examples and all that good jazz. So what is this particular video about? Well, first of all, let there be light. See what I did there? And there was light. So what is this one about? You got denied. So the title of this video will be, I got denied or my UCC got denied. Help. Bad wolf. What did I do wrong? All right, first, you made three mistakes. First, you took the job. Second, you came light. A four-man crew for me, king insulting. And three, your biggest mistake, empty gun rack. All right, sorry, that's from Pitch Black. Um, all right, so the UCC. So I'm not going to go through all how to do it the right way because, well, we've already made those videos. If you haven't seen those, Go back and watch them. If this is your first time here, please hit that bell, like, and subscribe. Get all the notifications if you like. You can always turn it off or rearrange it later. All right. So this is for the advanced student who has already done the UCC. You know what you're doing, basically. But apparently, you do not know what you're doing. And that's okay. Because sometimes the states will play games or maybe just do something well, probably not. All right. So these are the basics of the UCC that I know. And thus far, 99.9 and 99 and 90% of the time, one of these things will fix your problems. Some of these like don't have deep reasonings as to why they just are. Okay. One, make sure that your UCC claim in total is not over 500 million. For some reason, some states, which are portals to the UCC, we don't know if it's the UCC themselves, they don't like that number. I've heard people say, oh, I did one for one trillion. Yeah, but what do you got to show for it in the first place? Really? I mean, do you, did you really get a, even a dollar back from it? No. You spent 20 or $30 to get a $1 trillion, trillion dollar lien that, you know, you didn't get anything out of. But if you did, hey, let me know. I've also heard of some people out there who've used their UCC liens to win in court. If that was you, let me know what you did. I'd love, love to learn. The bad wolf learn, loves to learn new things. Now, moving on. One of the more traditional things that people do that's a mistake is the debtor cannot be the same as the creditor. Okay? So... If your debtor's name is James C. Lovett and your creditor's name is James C. Lovett, they're going to deny you. The private and the public cannot, can't do it. Okay. The debtor cannot be a creditor. Zero's out. Can't do it. Okay. There's no meaning on the line. One side or the other. So if that's the case, educational information only. Do whatever you guys want to do and always seek a qualified expert um in the field if you want to know something all right and feel free to call the office contact the ucc if you like so my thoughts would be if you're going to use the debtor all capitalized names same as on the birth certificate because that is the state created trust okay that's the name you should be working with the creditor i would use either you know mr mrs lord lady before your name your name in all all lowercase lettering, first name spelled out, middle name spelled out, last name. So I would even go as far as to say you should use really your given name. So instead of James C. Lovett, my first name, I would put James Cash, let's just say. Maybe another something for the middle initial. And then for the last name of the family Lovett, the nation of Lovett, Lovett family. Okay, another variation for the creditor or for the debtor rather would be James C. Lovett. 
And then I would put the word trust behind it because that's what it is. It's a state created trust. Okay. So those are the name variants. From there, it's usually also for the creditor, you want to make sure that you don't put a zip code down. Debtor gets a zip code. The debtor is on the paper financial jurisdiction. You, the living person, are not. So the creditor, all zeros. USA, the debtor, US, corporation. One of the next and probably the biggest mistakes that people make with the UCC is you're putting down public information. The state doesn't want to be responsible for that. The UCC doesn't want to be responsible for that. Unidroid, whoever else, all the rest, they don't want to be responsible for that. It's a lawsuit. So if you're going to put confidential numbers, okay, which usually if in this case would be your, some people put their social, some people put their birth certificate numbers, you know, the QCIP numbers, you know, their VIN numbers, that's fine. X out four or three, four or five of the numbers. Do not give full disclosure on the numbers. You can put the description. VIN number XY17035B, Cuisinart, Cuisinart, double O, whatever. And then XXXXX, silver, Mercedes, Benz, blah, blah, blah. Home address or home, whatever it is. If you're doing agriculture or, you know, whatever, make it cued to that thing. But don't put down any specific numbers that can be used against you. Okay. So that's probably the number one biggest mistake that will get you canned. All right. Um, next, you might want to itemize your list. Okay. Don't put down anything that uh, that cannot be put into a UCC lien. Um, trying to think of some other things. Those are going to be your top ones. Um, or you filed it incorrectly. All right. Most of the time, if you're going to do a non UCC lien, you're going to check off non UCC, which means this is just to be a private thing. Me to you, it's a private thing. If you want it on the international level, then it's a normal UCC. It's a public transmitting utility, it is a trust. You should be checking off Baylor, Bailey. For the, for the general ones. Now, there's different ways to do uh, municipality types and whatever else. I'm um, still learning about those. But those are done a little bit differently. Okay, so for the average person, if it doesn't say it's mandatory, leave it blank. Otherwise, it should be uh, public transmitting utility. Also, if you have the option on there for trust, check off Baylor Bailey. Basically it. Everything else you can leave blank. All right. So that's pretty much it. Not a terribly long video, but just wanted to cover the basics of why you got rejected with your UCC. It's probably one of those three things, four things, whatever. Adjust those and UCC accordingly. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Usually I do these in consultations, but there's really not a whole lot to it. So I don't want you guys spending a whole lot of money. To get something that can take, you know, two or three, you know, questions. So why? Because the bad wolf does not mind giving you guys so much. So the people out there who were like, the bad wolf is so expensive. Well, if you want knowledge to help you get to the next level, there's a price for it. On the streets, we'd say ash, cash, or grass. All right. All right. I'm not charging any of that. Well, maybe cash to the website so remember you have there's always going to be a a fee to pay for some things if you're not going to go out and do it yourself so why are you going to come to me and say i'm expensive when it can be free if you do the work yourself oh wait because some people don't want to do the work they don't know how to do the work or both so then yeah you got to pay for it can i go up there right now and fix my roof that has a tiny leak no i might mess it up so i'm gonna go and pay somebody a whole lot more money than what people have paid me you go fix a tiny leak because that's not my area. And I'm smart enough to know that I'm not smart enough to do that.
And there it is. Not going to figure it out. Yeah. But do I want to go in a hot, dark, uh, linty attic and figure out where the leak is coming in? No. That's why I don't mind paying somebody. I don't want to do all that. I want just the part that I want, and that's to be fixed. So, and always, guys, if you see anybody using any of my images like this, report them for defamation, especially if they're using it for negative reasons, defamation of character. It's a suable offense. So hit that report button. And not that I not that I thought I was this famous or infamous, at least as of yet. Um, if someone's asking you for money or to invest in something with my name, logo, or in one of these chats or whatever else, 99% of the time, it is not going to be me. I'm not going to ask you for money. I'm not going to approach anybody out of the blue. I'm very private and very quiet and selective, even who I talk to. Um, I really get back to half the friends I have already around because I already have 20 people a day who have my private number or one of my private numbers messaging me all day for stuff. I don't got time for it. Okay. It may not seem like much because you're asking one question, but I got 20 or five other people who are like one question every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday. Yes. Okay. So um, keep in mind, I don't do court cases, don't do bonds, and I do not know all avenues of all forms out there and how to use them. If I did, I'm pretty sure they would shut my YouTube down <laughs> again. So, so that being said, also, thank you for leaving my channel alone. Good, good, friendly people out there who watch the channels. Um, from your favorite non-belligerent, non-combatant treaty with the United States. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's it, guys. That's all I can think of. Those are the top reasons. So adjust one of those things. Oh, I guess another part would be. Um, now, this isn't for everybody, but some people, some states are weird. They don't want you to. Put the physical number, like, say, uh, five point seven million dollars. They want you to write it out. Don't ask me why. I don't know. We've gotten things to go through because. I was like, hey, just write out the numbers instead of putting them up there. I don't know if it's a computer algorithm thing or what. Some people have run into the scenario where they use their home address and for the debtor and the creditor, 99% of the time that goes through. But if, it, if, if you have everything else right, once again, write out the numbers, try it that way, um, or get a PO box or use a friend's address for you know, the one, the creditor or the debtor, and that'll usually go through. So that's it, guys. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for watching The Wolf. You guys know what to do with all the goodies to support. Check out blacksite32.com. We've got more files going up weekly. All right. Once they've approved, been approved and vetted um, or sworn by trusted people or there's no copyrights on them, then we will put them up. That's it. Go do something fun. Lights out. Talk to you later. And we'll leave the light on for you.